Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, September 19th at 8.30 a.m. This is Pastor Kevin from Valley Real Life here, giving you our daily devotion on this series of winning the war in your mind. Our theme verse for the entire series is out of 2 Corinthians 10.5, where it says we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And this last week I preached on the topic of calming my anxious mind. Our theme verse for this entire week has been out of Philippians 4, uh, six and seven. You've probably had that thing carved in your brain. And that's the idea. I want you thinking about this verse just all the time. Just have it sort of stuck like a song you can't get out of your head. But rather than dumb lyrics, it's God's word that's stuck in your head here. And I want to talk today about just the first little sentence in our phrase. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Two words there. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Talk about that first word, anything. You've heard that phrase, don't sweat the small stuff. The implication there, of course, is that I'm saving my sweat for the big stuff, that I won't worry about little things because I've got big things that I want to worry about. Well, this verse doesn't tell us to approach life that way. It says, don't worry about anything. It doesn't say don't worry about the small stuff. It says, don't worry about anything. See, there's nothing too big in your life that God can't handle. Small or big or huge is not too big for God. So there's nothing in your life that's that's too big a worry for God to handle. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Just like there's nothing too big for God to handle, there's nothing too small in your life for him to care about. The mundane, average, everyday kind of stuff you deal with that seems so trivial and normal to you, your Heavenly Father knows about those things and cares about those things. Which is why he says, pray about everything, not just the big things, not just the earth-shaking things, not just the gigantic spiritual church holy-ish things. No, pray about everything. There's nothing in your life that's too small uh, for God to care about. So whatever you're going through today in life, uh, whether it's a big honking problem that you're wrestling with or just a everyday little annoyance or, or worry, give it to God. Nothing is too small for you to carry to your Heavenly Father. There are several scriptures Dan mentioned in his first message that I want us to have floating around in our heads throughout this entire series. The first one is out of Proverbs from the King James Version. It says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. What we think in our hearts determine our lives, the course of our lives. As our thoughts go, so our life goes. So if you want to change the direction of your life, you got to start by changing how you think. That's why Paul says in Romans 12, 2, says, let God renew your mind by changing the way you think. God wants to change how we think about life. And when we change how we think, we change how we live, and we change how we live, we get the kind of life that God wants us to have. Do you know Jesus wants you to have a rich and satisfying life? He said in John 10, uh, verse 10, Uh, My purpose is to give you a rich and satisfying life. Those are his exact words, rich and satisfying life. Doesn't everybody want a rich and satisfying life? I know I do. Everybody does. Yet we go about seeking it in different ways. And some of the ways that we go about seeking it end up being very counterproductive. If if I can bring my life to Jesus, the Bible tells me I'll have a rich and satisfying life. Um, There is a... uh, passage I want to read to you out of the Sermon on the Mount. I mean, whose words better than Jesus's words to sort of wrap up my week of devotions? It's uh, on the topic of anxiety and worry. Jesus spent quite a bit of time in the Sermon on the Mount. If you look at the paragraph that it's broken up into, this is one of the longer paragraphs, and it's all about the topic of anxiety and worry. So as you're going through your everyday life today, because that's what it talks about, I want these words of Jesus to be ringing in your ears. I just want to read them to you really without any comment, because I think his words speak for themselves. He says, that is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. Aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? (laughs) And why worry about clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. 
Yet Solomon, the richest man who ever lived, in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. Yet your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Hope these words will just sort of resonate with you today as you go about your day. And when you have those anxious thoughts that pop into your mind, think about these words of Jesus. God cares about flowers. He cares about birds. If he cares about those things, he certainly cares about you. He knows all about you. He loves you. He cares for you, which is why the Bible tells us in 2 Peter to cast all our anxieties, cast all our worries, cast all our cares upon him, for he cares for you. Tonight at 6.30, Pastor Dan will be doing the next uh, section of this uh, series on winning the war in your mind. And he's going to bring up a couple of, of concepts that are really crucial to master in order to win the war on your mind. They're called reframing and pre-framing. So you're not going to want to miss this. Tonight at 6.30, you can find it on the Valley Real Life uh, webpage, vrl.church, uh, Sunday at 8 o'clock, 9.30, and 11. Hope to see you as we uh, seek to win the war on your mind. I really enjoyed having this week with you, and I uh, hope that God blesses you today and the rest of this week. We see you later. Bye.